Who would you rather sign at Arsenal? Nico Williams from Atletico Bilbao or Pedro Neto from Wolves? Let me know the answer to that question as I start this video, ladies and gentlemen. And make sure, since you guys are here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't checked the link in the description to SofaScore, the best football app in the planet sponsoring today's video, I don't know what you're waiting for. Let's get the show started. And also remember to answer the question, who would you rather sign, Pedro Neto or Nico Williams? Yes, 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 people. What's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football, and we're back again with another video. Today, we are linked to two wingers to be joining Arsenal Football Club in the summer. One is Atletico Bilbao's Nico Williams, and the other one is Wolves' Pedro Neto. We're going to be talking about both of them. We're going to be looking at the pros, the cons, the, uh, the potential fee that it would cost, their age, and everything that we need to know about the two players and breaking them down. So first things first, let's just look at Nico Williams to begin, in case you are not familiar. Nico Williams is 21 years old, currently playing Atleti Club, which is also known as Atletico Bilbao in Spain. This is a player who is not the most amazing at producing output, but what he can do in linking up that defensive attack and creating problems for defenses is second to none. He is one of the better players in that position in the in the league, and he's a very young up-and-coming star, being only 21 years old. How much money would he cost? Let's find out. Transfermark are reporting that he would be around 50 million euros at this moment in time, and that could with the, with a 50 million euros kind of situation, let's see if he has a release clause or anything like that, because I don't know if he has a release clause. Let's see. Release clause. What is his release clause? Yep, he has apparently, he has a realistic release clause of around 50 million euros. So it could cost around 50 million euros if you were to try to sign him. That is the Nico Williams situation. So 50 million euros doesn't have the most amazing stats, but is extremely young and has very high potential. And also doesn't have Premier League experience, of course. Next, you go to Pedro Neto. Let's go to Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto is 23. He does have the Premier League experience. Statistically, he he has shown that he can produce with him getting eight assists this season. But even then, never really produced to the level of like a 10 and 10 season for, for Wolves. His best season before this season was five goals and six assists, but he's constantly injured. The problem with Pedro Neto is he's extremely injury prone, and that is a concern for anybody who's going to be signing him. He is 23, and if I'm not mistaken, let's see how much he would cost on transfer mark, 42 million, but he is under contract until 2027. So that is, a, that is another thing right there. So the two players' profiles are very different also, in my opinion. You got a situation where Pedro Neto is actually, I would say their profiles are quite similar, but we're not going to break down the profiles. I'm just going to talk about the actual signing. So one would be Premier League proven around the same price. The other one would be two years younger, not Premier League proven, but has such a, but has such high potential. Both of them really do have high potential, and both of them would offer us very good cover for Bakayo Saka. So my question to you guys today is, who would you rather sign for Arsenal? Pedro Neto or Nico Williams? Let me know what you guys would do in the chat today, right now. Because for me, I would rather go for Pedro Neto. Even with the injury history, I would go with Pedro Neto because I don't trust the fact that he and Nico Williams will be able to do it in the Premier League just yet. I would need to see him in the Premier League before I go and go out of go out of my way to just be like, hey, he's gonna do perfect. He's he's built for this, he's he's perfect. I don't know enough about him. I need to go learn more about him. But he does seem like he has a higher upside. So to the people, I'm going to lean towards you guys, to the people in the chat who might know more about Nico Williams than I do. Let me know, is he a better player than Pedro Neto? Is he even better than Pedro Neto? Let me know. Because if we're going to be signing him over Pedro Neto, I would at least want to know that he's going to be worth it. To me, it seems like the cheaper deal. 
He seems like the player who's younger, more upside. But I feel like Pedro Neto would be ready to impact this team right away and jump in and help us right away. So that's just me. Personally, I would take Pedro Neto over Nico Williams. But let me tell you guys something. There was a report today. So I'm just going to show you guys that report and where this originally came from before we go any further on anything else. And yeah, there is some good news today popping around all over Twitter. So one of the news that I've seen is Frankie de Jong has been given the green light to leave Barcelona. Look, if we have an opportunity to sign Frankie de Jong, we need to go pounce on that. Even if it means we got to spend break the bank slightly because a player like Pedro Neto, uh, a player like Frankie de Jong doesn't become available all the time. So, and he is a player who's previously said he wants to play for Arsenal. So we have to wait and see. There's also rumors here that Arsenal would, would like a striker, which would all, allow Gabriel Jesus to play on the left, along with playing in the midfield and as a winger, where Pedro Neto could be another winger in Pedro Neto or Nico Williams could be an option in amongst the likes of uh, Ivan Tony and Zubamendi. Personally, if we had a transfer window like this, I would absolutely be so happy with this type of transfer window. Imagine we went and got Tony, uh, uh, what do you call it, Zubamendi and a Nico or a Pedro Neto, plus potentially even a, a friggin. Imagine if we could also get a Frankie Diong on top of that. It would be a dream window. I think four players in this window could raise our game to a next level. Next level. But we need at least one winger, one striker minimum. Then the midfield, Zubamendi looks like he's patterned. Looks like he's joining pretty much sorted almost. So we got to wait and see what happens there. But hey, this is this is the report right now. It came from John Cross from the mirror. So we got to wait and see, hold it with a with a with a pinch of salt but it's not the only report about nico williams so arsenal have been scouting and making uh checks on athletical Bilbao's winger nico williams and this is a project winger don't forget that he's a project he's not somebody who comes in and is right away the one of the best but he's exciting up and coming and he's 21 years old and you'd be and you have to be molded into the position where Pedro Neto would come in and instantly be impact, in my opinion. So that's the difference between the two. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And also, can we a little bit dream about the Frankie De Jong? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that too. But I'm out of here, people. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys let me know in the chat what you guys think. Would you rather have Pedro Neto on Arsenal or would you rather have Nico Williams? And if you would have Nico Williams, tell me a little bit more about him. Tell me why you prefer Nico Williams over Pedro. And just don't say injuries only. Give me another reason. I need to know what you guys are thinking. But yeah, that's it for today, people. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, if you've gotten up to this point of the video, do me a favor. Download SofaScore right now. It's, so, it's absolutely free. It's the best football app on the planet. I use it for everything. Not only football, basketball, NFL, everything I use it for. So make sure you guys check it out. And I'm out of here, people. I'll catch you guys on my next video later today. Peace.